hello everyone welcome back to my channel hope you are all doing well so as you already know now the examinations are near okay so this is the more circle problem of the mom subject mechanics of materials okay who are in third semester so they are definitely having this uh, these type of problems were there okay in the beginning itself so let's discuss the more circle problem in today's lecture so let me start at a point in a loaded elastic member there are normal stresses of 60 megapascal and 40 megapascal right so you can see here in the figure itself 60 megapascal is the uh, principal stress or you can say that is the normal stress 60 megapascal and 40 megapascal in this direction right both tensile these are the tensile uh, forces or tensile stresses over here okay if it is in opposite direction that is the compression okay but in this problem we are dealing with the tensile stresses at right angles to each other with positive shearing stress of 20 megapascal this half added arrow repre uh, represent is the uh, shearing stress right so this is given by 20 uh, megapascal 20 megapascal draw the mohra circle diagram and find principal stresses and their plans maximum shear stress and it is planes okay so let me find out these terms over here what is the uh, first term that is principal stresses and their plans next one is the maximum shear stress and its plane so in order to calculate these values we have to draw the more circle diagram so let me tell you how to draw it so first of all write down the given data in the examinations okay so sigma x is equal to 60 newton per millimeter square or mega pascal okay you can write down so this is your sigma x is 16 uh, newton per millimeter square and your sigma y is 40 newton per millimeter square and your shear stress uh, this half added arrow it is given by 20 newton per millimeter square on the both sides so this is tau xy is equal to 20 newton per minute per millimeter square now we have to draw the more circle diagram okay so let me show you how to draw it so first of all take the scale for these values it is the 60 newton per millimeter square how you draw these values so you have to take a scale so i will take scale 1 centimeter 1 centimeter is equal to 10 newton per millimeter square i am taking 10 newton um, per millimeter square is equal to 1 centimeter so first of all i have to draw the axes over here one is the principal stress axis another is the shear stress axis okay let me take the axis first okay randomly you can draw the line over here and take a point somewhere here over here okay draw a vertical line right so this is your sigma line that is principal stress and this is your shear stress line okay tau x this is your positive value or this is your negative value okay so now observe the figure see here this is your 60 newton per millimeter square you have to take on the right hand side of the axis as it is a positive value is here it is a tensile stress 60 is the positive value so i have taken 10 newton per millimeter square is equal to 1 centimeter it is 60 so it will be definitely 6 centimeter you have to take the line here so from this point you have to take 6 millimeter yeah this is your 6 centimeter line that is a point okay now another one is the 40 newton per millimeter square you have to take also this in the base baseline this is your baseline and suppose i will call it o now another one is another principal stress is 40 newton that is 4 centimeter as 10 newton per millimeter square is the 1 centimeter okay so i can take 4 centimeter over here this is your b point okay i hope you are getting now what i have to do i have to take this uh, tau xy that is 20 newton per millimeter square so at point a suppose i will call it a over here a b c d okay it is also in the question mentioned so this is a point where you are observing this is in the downward direction this half added arrow so your shear stress is negative that is 20 newton per millimeter square from the a so in the downward direction this is the tau this is the tau positive this is tau negative okay so see here now you have to draw from a point 20 newton per millimeter square that is your 2 centimeter line so draw from here 2 centimeter line this is your tau x okay uh, so now this uh, at b point you have to draw upward uh, this uh, half added arrow in the upward direction 20 newton per millimeter square so i can draw it here 20 newton that is 2 centimeter okay scale i have taken 10 newton per millimeter square is equal to 1 
सेंटीमीटर ओके दिस इज यर डी नाउ ओके सॉरी दिस इज यर सी पॉइंट दिस इज यर डी पॉइंट नाउ ओके सो ड्रा ए डायगोनल लाइन कनेक्टिंग दीज टू पॉइंट यस ड्रा दिस लाइन दिस इज यर डायगोनल लाइन ओके मार्क दिस पॉइंट एज ई सपोज ओके सो नाउ यू हैव टू टेक दिस मच लेंथ दिस मच लेंथ यू हैव टू टेक रेडियस दिस वन ओके ड्रा ए सर्कल ड्रा ए सर्कल लाइक दिस ओके आई होप यू आर गेटिंग दिस वन ओके दिस इज योर कंप्लीशन ऑफ सर्कल over here now this distance on the principal stress line this is called as sigma minimum so let me draw it like this one so that you will get clarity this is your sigma minimum okay and this line the circle touching at this point at the maximum point it is called as sigma maximum it is your sigma maximum ओके सिग्मा मैक्स सो यू आर सपोज टू कैलकुलेट दिस दिस वैल्यूज इन द क्वेश्चन इट सेल्फ ओके नाउ सी हियर यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट फाइंड प्रिंसिपल स्ट्रेस एंड दियर प्लान इज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल कैलकुलेट प्रिंसिपल स्ट्रेस ओके दैट इज सिग्मा मिनिमम एंड सिग्मा मैक्सिमम हाउ आई कैन कैलकुलेट इट सिंपली बाय मेजरिंग स्केल ओवर हियर दिस इज यूअर सिग्मा मिनिमम इज टू पॉइंट सेवन ओके दिस इज आई कैन राइट हियर Sigma minimum is equal to 2.7. I am getting here and multiplied with the scale. What I have taken here that is 10 a newton per millimeter square. Okay, so that is multiplied by 10. You will get 27 newton per millimeter square. This is your sigma minimum. Right. I hope you are following. Next, I have to calculate what sigma max over here. Okay. so just measure it this is almost 7.4 okay this is 7.4 so sigma max is equal to 7.4 into scale scale is 10 so which is equal to 74 newton per millimeter square okay so this is all about the sigma max and sigma minimum and their plans i have to check it out plans means uh, simply Uh, direction of principal plan is okay let me calculate now plan is over here okay now in order to calculate the plans or direction of principal plan we call it okay you see here in the first question it is mentioned principal stresses and their plan so principal stress uh, principal stresses we have calculated now it is the time to calculate the plans or direction of principal plan is so there is a formula that is 2 theta 1 2 theta 1 is equal to we have to measure this angle from this diagonal line up to this base line this is as 2 theta 1 this is what 2 theta 1 okay so let me measure it first so this is approximately yes 70 uh, sorry 65 i am getting here okay so this is your 65 so theta 1 will be equal to 65 upon 2 okay that is your 32.5 degree this is what 2 theta 1 okay now in order to calculate the 2 theta 2 so i have to take this angle so from this one and up to and up to this okay from this one up to this uh, line okay so this is obviously from here 180 and this much i have to calculate <coughs> so this is almost yeah this is 64 64 okay so i have to take here so 2 theta 2 is equal to 180 plus 64 so you will get 244 degree as 2 theta 2 so theta 2 is equal to 244 upon 2 you will get 122 degree this is your theta 2 theta 2 okay now this is all about the uh, principal stress and their plan is now i have to calculate shear, maximum shear stress and its plan so let me calculate now now in order to calculate the shear maximum shear stress and its plan so you have to draw one vertical line from this origin of the circle okay draw one line like this one so this is called your tau max 
this is what tau minimum tau minimum okay i hope this is clear tau max and this is what tau minimum so simply how you can calculate tau max and tau minimum simply measure it with the scale so this is about 2.4 something okay so 2.4 it is so i can take here yeah so tau max is equal to 2.4 into scale is 10 newton per millimeter square okay you will get 24 newton per millimeter square as tau max and tau minimum will be obviously in the downward direction that is you are uh, minus times 2.4 into 10 that is your minus 24 newton per millimeter square but we are supposed to calculate only tau max in the form uh, this problem maybe in some problems there will be calculation of tau minimum so in this question you have to write this only in the examination don't write this for this question right so it is mentioned in the question ma uh, maximum shear stress and its plans i hope you are following now i have to calculate its plans its plans means its angles okay i can write here plans or direction plans or direction of maximum shear stress maximum shear stress so it is given by theta 1 dash i can write simply okay theta 1 dash is equal to 45 plus theta 1 this is the formula for this so this is your formula so i can write here theta 1 dash is equal to 45 plus what is the theta 1 value we have calculated this here 32.5 okay so yes 32.5 so i can get here uh, this is your 77.5 is your theta 1 dash theta 1 dash value okay now next is your formula that is theta 2 dash which is given by theta 1 plus 1 35 so you can write here theta 1 value is 32.5 plus 135 so you will get here 167.5 degree as theta 2 dash and you can mention also here this angle so from this much you have to calculate so this one is your up to this one this is your theta 1 dash okay and this one from here to here 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 up to this one okay this is your 2 theta sorry theta 2 dash so i have calculated the values here this is the plans or direction of principal plans and also we have calculated the maximum shear stress and sorry maximum shear stress over here okay so you can see here so this is all about the mohra circle problem i hope uh, it is clear to you people so make sure you will comment down if you have some doubts over there on this particular problem you can mention right so make sure you will share it uh, with your all friends who are uh, suffering in this particular subject so that will be beneficial for them okay so thanks for watching the video Thank you.